This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV TV for Friday, June 11th. And we begin with the college sports world being turned upside down. And it's all driven by the lust for lucrative TV rights fees. And now, the age of super conferences has indeed arrived, at the expense of the weaker conferences like the Big 12. Now, right now, confusion reigns with facts and wild speculation shifting violently by the hour. But right now, we do know that the University of Colorado has taken flight from the Big 12 to the Pac-10. Probably call it the Pac-11 now and counting. Now, many more Big 12 teams are expected to announce their departure for the likes of the Pac-10, the Big 10, and possibly even the SEC, leaving the Big 12 conference looking a bit like the planet Alderaan in Star Wars. Help me, Obi-Wan, you're our only hope. We'll get you all of the details once all of the shoes have dropped because the last thing we want to do is pass on bad information. Hey, Pam Anderson got flamed, but it was in a funny way. Bill Shatner took some huge comic heat. And now a cavalcade of celebs and comics will be going hoff, big time, on David Hasselhoff in another Comedy Central roast. And it's scheduled for mid-August. And the Hoff is girding for the comic challenge, saying, quote, bring it on, I can take the heat, unquote. Now, it's unknown whether drinks will be served at the Hoff Roast. Let's hope not. And finally, anyone in or out of the business who wants to settle back and watch CNBC tonight and try and understand what's happened in business this week, as well as maybe get a leg up on next week, well, you're SOL. You're out of business because the self-professed leader in business worldwide is delivering a movie tonight. Well, it looks like CNBC is employing best business practices by benchmarking their sister network, The Weather Channel, in delivering movies. Well, they're not doing it anymore, and we all know how well that worked out with TWC. Yeah. Okay, CNBC, good luck with that. Now, we will be monitoring the CNBC Facebook site, and we'll see how their working constituents like this type of business attainment. The Sports TV News is brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. The World Cup is regarded as the most far-reaching sports event on planet Earth, and it has just begun. And this time around, the World Cup will most definitely live up to his billing of being the most far-reaching sports event in human history. With us today is EMAC, Eric Mackerlin, and he's going to tell us exactly why. Eric? Everyone, welcome to the World Cup, starting today in South Africa, going on for, oh, Jesus, that's the best, better part of a month or so. Uh, just really one of the most exciting, colorful uh, pieces of sports that you'll ever get to see. And the one thing that's going to be a little bit different this time is, is that there are going to be a lot of people watching the World Cup, but they're not going to be watching on their televisions. Now, let me be more precise. Here in the U.S., the main television partner, partners are going to be ESPN and Univision. But when you're away from your television set, how are you going to watch the game? Well, you can watch on your computer or you can watch on your mobile device, and you're going to have a lot of different choices on how and where to watch. Uh, ESPN3, ESPN's online product, okay, formerly known as ESPN60, 360, is going to stream all 64 matches of the entire tournament live. And you can get ESPN3.com as long as your ISP has a carriage agreement with ESPN. If you don't or are not, let's say, uh, someone who has ESPN3.com, you can always pop over to UnivisionFootball.com where all 64 games are going to be streamed live in Spanish. Okay, you're not in front of your TV, you're not in front of your computer, what's next? Well, Probably your favorite mobile device, okay? We're going to take a look at the major two carriers, which, of course, are AT&T and Verizon. Uh, AT&T and, and Verizon are both going to be carrying uh, a version of ESPN Mobile during the, uh, the tournament. 
AT&T is going to be carrying 64 games, all 64 games live on its platform. Verizon will only be carrying 56 games. However, and this is the big coup for Verizon, here in the U.S., Verizon is the official interactive media partner of Univision. Okay, So while they may not have all 56 games in English, all 64 games in English, only 56, they're actually going to have 64 matches in Spanish. So if you're a Verizon not a customer, you'll be able to watch the games that way. Okay, As for us, in terms of our coverage of the World Cup, we're going to be on Twitter live at 2.30 U.S. Eastern Daylight Time for the U.S. versus England match, the long-awaited match that uh, fans on both sides of the pond want to see. American soccer fans really revved up about the possibility of being able to take down England on the second day of the tournament. Really, really big deal. Anyway, we're going to be Twittering. Make sure you check out our hashtag, which will be uh, TTVN World Cup. Okay? Just put that in your search string. You'll find our comments. You'll find me and Jeff bickering back and forth. We're not going to be talking about what's going on on the field. We're going to be talking about the commercials. We're we'll talking about the presentation. We're we'll talking about the commentators. And a lot of criticism uh, in, from people here in the U.S. because they don't like the fact that ESPN is going with uh, an all-UK crew to cover the World Cup. I don't think that's much of a problem. They do that for the English Premier League coverage, and it's excellent. Uh, so if uh, you'd like to join us on Saturday, we'd love to see you there. Again, hashtag TTVN World Cup. Eric, we'll be back next week. I imagine we'll be talking about some of the uh, numbers for uh, the first week of World Cup, and we'll see you then. And you're going to be huge, Jeff. Thanks. Future events and opportunities brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice. Get the best price. Get Dude at DudeWalker.com. If it's imperative for you to talk to the TV industry and do it in video, become a sponsor of the TV News. To get started, click right here at the TVNews.tv website or drop us an email at advertise at the TVNews.tv. One week from next Tuesday, the world's greatest media marketers and designers will gather at Promax BDA, the conference 2010. To learn more, log on to PromaxBDA.org. That's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We will be back on Monday, but if you missed any editions or great features on the TV News this week, you can catch up in our archives. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a great weekend. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.